Hmm. Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithelly.com and um, sorry I'm a little bit late, um, it's 10 minutes past the time that I usually are live, but um, there has been lots of things going on at home and um, like I mentioned last week, um, the little ones were sick and then I was sick and my mom was sick and so everyone in the house was sick. Uh, hi Shannon, and so it has been crazy and then today um, it, it wasn't any different. So um, anyway, one thing I want to just um, let you know is that um, with all the madness going on at home, I couldn't do the um, the drawing for this week. So next week I'll announce who's the winner for this, uh, for this Facebook Live, which was the last one from two weeks ago. Uh, it really just too many things going on that I couldn't do. Uh, I couldn't get my head around it. But anyway, so I'll do the drawing next week and I'll announce. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you is that um, I actually did a blog post about this. But um, out of this card, I think it was the last one. Hello, everyone, that we did last week or two weeks ago. And I want to show you like a variation of those. So I made this one pretty much following the same things that we did here and um, as you can see here it is and I did a blog post just because uh, sometimes we're stuck and we don't have that uh, creativity going on that uh, we don't know what to create and so um, the whole thing or the whole idea was that you can go ahead and see your car see what you have done and then see what you can change and so you can see here I pretty much stamp the same way but um, I just added now the different um, the different elements from the same set, and then I also make this one smaller, and then just add a piece of the sign series paper. But pretty much this is kind of the same, um, at least from the stamping point of view. The other thing is I love this one so much, and so here is another another variation from that one, and this one is gonna be here um, uh, in my blog post um, this week. And so, like I said, just see at uh, your cards and see what you like and how you can change it. In this case, I just used completely that whole um, um, element. So here you have it. Here's another one. And this one is all in. Um, this one is so sweet, but I did the, this piece is uh, crumb cake. And the buffalo check is on so sweet. I die cut the same, um, the leaves, um, mostly mossy meadow and uh crushed curry um with the same set with the falling for leaves bundle so here you go so like i said it's it's that's a quick tip for you whenever you feel it like you don't have your juices flowing um the other thing i want to just make sure you all know is that um i have uh released the video where i explain about the cart so this is the first class i am doing in november so you can see all the projects here. Um, um, I am in love with all the different um, um, stamps from this suite, the uh, Santa's Workshop. And this one has a lot of those um, kind of fun folds, if you will. And there's also one that is um, gift card holder. So during this time, we all need lots of gift card holder. This is the gift card holder. And so definitely, uh, if you're interested, I have put the link with more information about this class on the description of this YouTube video. So this is one. Oh, and it also has this little cute um, treat box. So that's class number one. Um, the deadline for that one, I believe, is November. Oh, I'm going to be giving you wrong day, so you better be watching that. I think it's like mid Make November because I believe it's shipping November 24. So I think it's a week before that. But make sure you see that. The second one, um, the second class that I am releasing in November, and this is at the end of November. I think this one, uh, the last day to sign up is about November 21st and it's shipping December 1st. Um, so anyway, so here we are. This one, it features the, uh, what is this called? The, um... Peaceful Noel, and this one is a gift card holder. So, again, we are going to be needing lots of gift card holders during this season. And this one, believe it or not, is one of my favorites because I thought that if you're if you're one of those that send pictures, wouldn't this be great to be sending your picture here instead of putting this paper? You put your picture, and this um and this could be the card um to send. So this one is um 
one of my favorites from this whole class. Again, um, there's more information about signing up on the link. So make sure you see it um, if you want to sign up for any of these classes. All right, so let me just get going here. Um, so now, um, so as you all know, I'm sure, because it's been all over the place, we have now the Snowflake Showcase, and now we can actually share it with you all the different stamps. So there's two stem sets, and there is a set, um, what is this, of uh, uh, thinlets, the Snowfall thinlets. There are some trinkets, and I believe they're here, yes, here we go. So we have the trinkets, which are really nice. Let me just show you, okay. This is the same, here we go. And there's two type of the trinkets. Um, both of them have little rhinestone in them, so I think it's really cute. So, um, that's part of this whole collection. And there's also velvet, um, velvet paper, which is like, uh, which is like the flock paper. And I don't know if you have seen the paper from the sign test post that it has a little fussy thing. It's the same thing, but it's the whole sheet of paper. So it's really cool, so that's that one. Um, and so this one is available starting today. So if you really like it, go ahead and get it right away because, um, and of course I forgot to put the hostess goes, huh? Anyway, I'm not prepared. You can see that right now it's all over the place, but anyway, so, um, make sure you purchase the snowflake showcase right away because this is what supplies last and I'm not sure if it's going to last the whole month, but the products are going to be sold only during November until they're sold out so <clears throat> if you like them go ahead um and then today i want to well let me just show you some pro projects first so out of these and um i have released this already on my blog where you can see this one and this one uses the happiness around as you can see and then the thin ones i think the thin ones are the ones that i love the most um here's another one um and i love the sentiments on this one honestly here is another one, and I paired this one with the Ribbon of Courage, and um, I just love how it looks. This one is die cut with the flock paper. I don't know that, I don't really think that you can see the difference, but then I put a little one with the um, Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper, and then of course I added one of those trinkets. And then here is the last one that I've been playing with. Um, so here's another one, and it's again being done with the Happiness Surrounds. And I love that these kind of look like a snowflakes, but it's flowers and leaves, and they line up really nice. So, those are some of the projects. Today, I really just want to focus on the thinlets. And I know I've been saying that I didn't get this one because I already have way too many snowflakes. Um, however, I've been seeing so many samples that I might change my mind and might as well get that one. Because there's so many nice things going on with this one that... I might just, you know, do it as well. But anyway, I did got that one, and of course I got the, the thin like stuff. But we're going to be playing with this, and we're going to be coordinating with all our sets. So, let's just get started there. Let me just see. I'm going to put these things out of the way. And I'll put the hostess code um, at the end. I will be editing the video and put the hostess code at the beginning, because I didn't put that part. Um, so... Let's go ahead and first of all, let me see. Let me just make sure I have everything here because you can see it's that kind of a day. All right, so I want to use this one and this one is this. And what else? Oh, I like this one. Love nibble melts. I think that would be really cute to have that. Here we go. So I'm going to be using those with this. Um, so here is what I'm going to be using. Let me just mount these. And I changed my setup for the video. So I'm kind of getting used to the new setup. So bear with me as well with that. Because I'm all over. <laughs> but anyway. So I have a piece of... Um, what is this? Sherry Cobbler, and this one is eight and a half by five and a half, and I had already uh, folded, but as usual, just go ahead, fold it in half, use your bone folder. Then I have a piece of um, 
what is this? The Design Series paper, and this is the Regals. And this is from the, the collection that has a 6x6. Six six. Let me see what is the name. So it's this one, the Regal 6x6. Six six. So there's no special name um, of the Design Series paper. And so I cut a piece, and let me just make sure I said how big this is. I believe it's 4 by 2 Let's just see. Yeah, it's 4 by 2 Yes. So, hmm. Good memory right there. And then I have a piece of, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I have a piece of, um, Mossy Meadow. And this one is three by two and three quarters. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. And this one is, um, two and a, yeah, two and a half by two and three quarters so this is gonna go like so and then i have already die cut some of those dies from the um belt bit paper and using the frame widths and um and let me just show you the the frame width so you can see it more in person since this is what we're going to be showcasing. well i think you can see it here all well so um you can see this is by far one of my favorites um, and this is the one that I use on the car that I show. And here, so there are lots of snowflakes. Literally, I mean, I've been playing with it a lot. I've been cutting and cutting a lot of them. Um, and like I said, what I like is that they have flowers as well as the no snowflakes. And these leaves are really nice as well as that one, don't you think? So, oh, here's another flower that goes well with, uh, um, with the happiness around. So... I had already used um, the velvet paper and already that cut those because I think the way I was picturing this is just putting all of this here. And then um, I want to see if I can cut this one with the um, the label. Let me see. Um, as you can tell, I'm all over the place with this one. I think you can. Maybe. We'll see. If not, then I'll have to cut it the other way. But we'll see. All right. Um, okay. So now I'm going to be stamping this with uh, Memento. Because in my head, I'm picturing using blends. Let me just make sure I had enough. And it's going to be a tight fit if I remember how I of these and like as usual I'm always um, just pressing firmly but I'm not rocking it so um, there we go yes I like that and let's just see it right away oh I close it of course let me see if this If this fits, and if it doesn't, then we'll have to figure out. <laughs> um, where's the punch? Seriously. What happened? Oh, here on my way. What happened to the punch? Let's see, because I don't know if it's gonna fit. Well, it's kind of tight, but I think it will fit. Yes. All right. So it's very tight. So we'll see. All right, so now that I have this, um, I'm planning on using, let me break my lens. I'm thinking of using um, the pool party. And then I have already the mango melody. Let me just close this because this is calling for a disaster right away. Um, and then the sherry cobbler. Let's just use sherry cobbler. Is this the right one? Yes. And, um, let me see, the light sherry cobbler, and let me see, maybe the soap suede for the arms, don't you think, that would be nice, and the black. So, uh, alright, so now let's bring the soap suede. Because I don't know if I'm going to be using the dark or the... And then the black. Yes, dark black. Let me see where this is. Yeah, that black should be fine for that. 
or that'd be different. Oh, goodness. Or maybe the dark self suede. So otherwise, you won't be able to see the line. So, anyway, we'll see how that goes. All right, so for this one, we're going to go ahead and do, what is this? Yeah, self suede. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the arms. And so how was your Halloween, by the way? Happy Halloween for us. It was good that it was raining so much that we couldn't go out and trick or treat with the little one. So we had to stay home. And uh, even though they said that we could go out today um, in the neighborhood, um, they were encouraging everyone to have their trick-or-treating. Today, I didn't got any any little ones, so I guess no one did it. And I was running around just to get ready for tonight. The little one decided to eat right before going live, so that's the reason I was also late. So you can imagine. But so far, no trick-or-treatings. Um, and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to do this one in jello. And this one is the mango melody. And I'm going to do the, actually I want that one in, in uh, pumpkin. I don't think I liked it with the melon man, but with the mango melody. So let's just bring the pumpkin. All these details. Yeah, much better. And then I'm going to be using the light of the... Um, cherry color for the heart. And um, I'm going to also use it here. I'm going to do this too. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the leaves on this one. Oh, too many details. Even though I thought I picked one that I didn't have that many, I think it does has. And I think I'm going to be doing also, it seems like it has like a little. Yeah, so it kind of matches the other hat. And so I'm gonna be doing also the, the hat with the smoke is late. And this is the dark of the smoke is late. And so we'll see. All right, and I'm thinking I'm going to be using the dark to the, the middle of these. Ooh. And then I'm going to be using this one. Alrighty, and I'm gonna use this just so that I can have kind of like the same color combination. So I'm really just dressing up these guys here. And I'll use the darker on this. And that's it for the guys. I'm going to be putting all of this somewhere else. Well, I'm going to leave them burn out here because I think I don't have time to go back. Now, I'm going to be using the light because um, I always feel like it needs some kind of a shadowing when it's so white. I don't know what it is. 
but I always feel that way. Then when you're doing no, um, oh, white, it kind of looks weird, but if you put a little bit of the pool party, it just looks different. And so I love it. Let me just do a close up real quick and let me just put those here. that so here it is what do you think huh now of course we need to be putting some wink of Estella here and I think this is the card that had the most of the labor so I'm gonna be using this one about the bow and then of course the heart there has to be some and I'll show it again so you can see it. I really like the Wink of Stella a lot. So now we can go ahead and put this together. And like I said, this one is just to showcase the thimlets. I didn't want to be um, just using the whole... Since I had some other samples already, I wanted to make sure I paired with some other stuff. I thought it was going to be... Nice, so you can see that the snowflake is good with everything. <laughs> so now, let's go ahead and put this one. Now I have, yeah, I still have some here. Let's glue those things. Alrighty. All right, this one's I'm gonna be going with glue dots. So, and then this one will be with dimensionals. All righty. And um, let's go ahead. go right here then I have my sentiment oh yeah I want to put it here so I'm gonna use the mini mini ones I think I have some here yeah I have some here that way they don't show so let's peel the backs and um, Oh, and by the way, um, when you comment and you share the video, you get enter to a drawing. And I'll send, in this case, um, if you win the drawing, the drawing you get um, all the cards, um, or the key to make all the cards that I am showing here. So be sure to be sharing the, the video to be enter um, to the drawing. Okay, let me just do that. I'm gonna be putting this one right here. And then I'm gonna be using this little one. And like I said, I am in love with those thin lids. I think they're just fantastic. Now, I'm gonna put this one here. And then just to make it even nicer, I'm gonna go ahead and put um, some of these. Right, oh. Oh my goodness. In the center. Oh, I should have used the other way. Never mind. It's fine. Sometimes I stress out a lot over other things, you know? But it's fine. It looks okay. There we go. A larger one. So here it is. So this is card number one. What do you think? I love these um, the snowmans a lot, and I don't know that I said the name of that one, but that's uh, the Spirit Snowman, and um, it goes real well with the uh, snowflakes. I thought that was pretty cute. So now let's just go to card number two, and card number two is really simple. 
It uses the, let me just show you. Whoa, here it is. This one uses the, um, oh, let me see the name. This is a silver foil edge card in the envelope back. And so as you can see, the card already has a silver foil which I think is great because I always struggle with putting a big piece of the uh, foil paper if you're only going to be showing this because you only get two sheets per pack so but I love how it looks and I'm always thinking well I don't want to be putting that much you know so I love that they have the silver and the and the gold that way I can have now that foil look that I love without having to use that big of a piece of the foil paper and then um, you can see the envelope. I mean, I think it's really great um, that the whole thing has the silver foil. So for this one, as you can see here, I have already, let me just show. I have already that cut, the bigger, you can see it here. Is that not amazing? And I did it with the silver foil. Um, no foil, the silver uh, glimmer paper. And then I have another of those as well ones. And um, then I have a piece, uh, another one with the foil, with the velvet paper, which in person, I mean, it's just amazing and it felt so nice. So um, let's just get it started. I also have already die cut the smallest of the circles um, of the stitch shapes framelits. And I have a piece of uh, Whisper White, and this one is, let me just make sure I said that. This one is mm, three and three quarters by five. So let's get it started. Of course, we're going to start with the, um, let's just do a little bit of the stamping here. So on this one, I wanted to use, believe it or not, the feathers and frost and I know it has nothing to do with the snowflakes but I thought it would be nice to put the joy to the world don't you think so um I went ahead and used this one like I said I wanted to just pair different type of stamp sets that had nothing to do with the collection just so that you can see that um you can use the um the friendlies with anything you already have Okay, so we're gonna have the joy, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, what is this? The to the world. So let's just have that. And for this one, I think it will be nice if I use the. Let me see, where is the? Hmm. Oh, here. I'm like, what? What did I do with this? All right, so I'm gonna be using that one. I think I'm gonna be using the granite, um, great granite, all right? To keep everything in the silver grade family. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the joy and I want to have it like right on top. So let's just do that. And Oh, and I need a pierce mat. So anytime you're using your stamps and they are photopolymer, it's best if you use the um, pierce mat. You get a better image with it. Let me see, do I like that? I think this one is too brownish, you know? So let me get a different one, basic. Oh, the smoking, let me see. Basic gray or smoky. Let me see. Because I thought this one looks kind of. Alright, so let's try this one. Oh, yes, I like this one. So I'm going to go with the smoky slate. I think that one looks better. So, for this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right on the top. And here you go. Yes, it goes much better with that. And I'm going to go ahead and also do on this one. I'm going to put this one here. And I'm just going to picture where everything goes. So this one goes here. I'm going to be putting out somewhere here. So I have this space. Yes. 
So let's go ahead and ink. And I like to stand before I glue anything because if something goes wrong, I have the other side. And so if you had already glue everything, then you pretty much have to cut everything again. So um, there we go. So let me just finish this card now. And again, all of them are really, really simple to make. Um, so let's just get it started with that. I'm gonna be putting this one and I'm gonna be using dimensionals on that section. Which, what did I do with the dimensionals? Every single time I do this, oh, here we go. Like, I always lose the dimensionals. Ooh. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one. So let's just put it like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one I think it looks nice if I put it right in the center and this one will be with glue dots. So here we go. So I have a glue dot. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate your sharing it. Thank you, thank you. And this one, I'm lining up all the centers and I'm going to be using one of the big uh, faceted gems for these. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Yes. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and put a dimensional on this. Yes, I want this one to go here and this one to go right here. But before I do that, um, let me just finish this section. So for this one, what I had in my mind is using the silver um what is it silver baker's twine and so what i want to do is add a little bit of glue yes and then do um like a little you know i don't know what you call this but like a little um cluster of of um twine and go here. Let's see how that looks. Okay. And then I'm going to be putting this one right there. So this one will be with glue dots. And I'm going to add like two of them. So I want to make sure. There we go. So this one goes like that and I'm going to be adding this. So I'm going to go ahead and add this with the dimensionals. And like I said, this one is really quick and easy. I think I need to put more. There we go. So that it's kind of even. And I'm putting here and here, and so that I can finish that other section. Oh, uh -huh. thank you, Shannon, for sharing. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, ladies. All right, and then don't forget to fold your okay now that I have this section I'm gonna be putting it right there and now this section is gonna go I'm gonna be putting like um dimensional here and there okay so let's just bring dimensionals I'm thinking I need two so I need one here. And one here. All right. 
So here you go. What do you think, huh? I really like this whole thing with a little cluster here. Okay, so here is card number two, and I love all the sparkling. Very quick and easy. You can see this one. Very different. <laughs> um, and so now card number three. It's also a little bit different. And this one I have picture in my head. I've never really done something like that, but so we'll see with uh with what I'm thinking of all the same color. That's what I meant with I've never done this that way. Because I always try to combinate or yeah, they have some sort of um combo color in my head and this time I just couldn't um I just couldn't picture this car that way. So this one though, so everything is pool party. This one is eight and a half by five and a half. This section is of course of course where is the oh the ruler. I'm like where's the ruler? This section is four by uh five and one quarter. Yeah, five and one quarter. And then I have this piece that is three and one quarter by two and one quarter and this one is gonna go there. And I have already die cut this element out of the uh what is this? The snowfall thinlets. So I love that one. And on this one, I'm gonna use one of those um, snowflake uh, trinkets. So for these, what I'm having or picturing in my head is the um, buffalo check. Okay, so let's just think. So this one will be, and have you, seen the new grid paper that fits exactly your um your stamparatus i mean i am in love with it let me see does this one yep so i'm gonna put it like so so i'm just gonna make sure here we go this is where i need to go so this one goes here and then i put a little mark so i know exactly where i'm gonna be putting my card in case and if you can see Seems like I'm not quite as straight. You can see it here. But as long as I have that one, I think everything else is going to be fine. So now I'm going to be using Pool Party. Pool Party. Because like I said, I'm trying to do everything tone on tone. And for whatever reason, I have that in my head. And I don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> so bear with me. Bear with me. And... um. This stamp set is one of those that you might need to uh, stamp several times. This is a very large stamp. And so that's why the stamp artist comes really handy for these. And so we'll see. And then, so make sure you also apply too much pressure when you're doing so. I'm lying up there and let's just go there. So. Put a lot of pressure. Okay. Okay. We'll see how this one looks. Oh. Oh my goodness. Let me bring this. All right. So. Let's just put it again and let's do a little bit more of inking. Alright. And here we go again. And just make a little pressure, as you can see. And here we go again. Oh my goodness, I move it, I guess. So I'll have to do this again, huh? Because I move it, do you see that? I think I put this one here and move this paper. Mm. So I don't like when that happens, but oh well, it happened. <laughs> This is what happens on lives, huh? <laughs> so 
So anyway, so make sure it's all there. All right, no, I didn't get that picky this time. All right. Whew. All right. Let's see. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. And then I'm going to be doing it again. Let's just hope this works. And if it doesn't, I don't know. Because this is exactly what I did last time. And honestly, the other thing is I think that my pull part is not that well um, inked. I probably need to re-inked again. So we'll see. Hopefully everything is lined up again. Well, let's just hope it all goes well. <laughs> And if not, then I'll have to cut another piece. And go from there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, okay. Much better. Ooh. I was starting to feel the pressure this time. <laughs> so, anyway. So now that we have that... We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this. I don't have that. Yeah, I'm gonna bring. Um, I think I want to go with um, with Bermuda Bay or maybe Coastal Cabana for the sentiment. I'll have to check. I haven't decided yet that part. Let me just think about this for a second. Where's the chamois? Here. So, let's just clean this and then make the decision as to what do I want. I think, I think if I put, oh yeah, this one. This one is the one that is going to be the one. Um, all right, so, for this part, what I'm gonna be using is the sentiment this one so let's put it here all right and so let me bring this does that one fit it's gonna be tight, but I think it does fit. So let's bring this. Let me see. Oh yeah, see those fit. Okay. Just wanna make sure. For a second, I thought this one is super big. I guess I just cut it right to the size. And we're gonna line it up. Okay. Okay. And then here's what I am picturing here. And you know what it would be nice to do? I haven't done that, but now that I am looking at this, wouldn't it be nice if I do the whole, you know, I've been seeing lots of um, options with these where they do lines. So it would be nice to add those lines too. So I'm gonna use, um, I don't wanna use this one because it's gonna be, well, maybe I do. Just give me one second here and I'm gonna use the same, what do I have here? Maybe I use, what is this? The light of the Bermuda Bay will be nice. Oh, this is it. So I can have kind of the same tone. Let me see if I like that. 
Oh yeah, it's the same thing, so that would be nice. So, we're just going to, oh, oh, this is kind of great, because this is a clear, and this is a, believe it or not, this is a quilter's line, a quilter's ruler. I can actually line up everything. That's kind of neat. I didn't thought about that. So, another thing to consider with the quilting ruler. All right. And I'm just lining it up there. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this whole thing. I love that I can see exactly where this is gonna go. Huh. All right, so. I do probably have to clean this one with alcohol because uh, I'm sure the Edge, yes, you can see the edge now. It's all um, Bermuda and it will Right, so I'm gonna have to clean this one with alcohol, but wouldn't this look really nice? I think I like it a lot. I think it likes it looks even better <laughs> That what I have picture in my head. So we'll see <laughs> So then the next thing is okay. We're gonna fold this one in half as usual. Where's the bone folder? Um Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece. Oh yes, I am loving it. All right, so I'm gonna be gluing this. All right, so I'm gonna be putting this one here. Then I'm gonna be Here's where what I would think what I was thinking. Put this one right there. And then have this piece come like so. Huh? Wouldn't it be nice? I think I like that. But I want to make sure that this section kind of goes there. Because I have that kind of empty space. There we go. Like so. Alright, so let's go ahead and glue this and because I'm using that piece even though I want to raise this piece um, I don't think it will be nice because I'm going to be gluing this one with the glue dot so I think it's best if I don't raise it there we go all right and then let's use glue dots with this so the glue this will go. See, this is the card that I had more questions about because, like I said, I kind of just picture it, but I was not gonna. I was not sure if it was gonna work out, and I think I am really liking it. <laughs> That's great when that happens. Mm -hmm. Even though we have some issues. Um, Doing the um, buffalo shag, I think overall is it's okay. There we go, there we go. Now for this one, this is where I said I wanted to add this one because guess what, this is gonna line up right there perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one, and I'm gonna be using also glue dots. All right, and then I'm gonna be putting um, rhinestones. Wish, what happened with the rhinestones? There we go. I'm gonna put rhinestones on the center of this one. So this one needs a large one. And then I'm gonna be adding the little ones here. And there. there and 
here in there so here we go so what do you think huh looks really nice I really like it oh hi Pam baby's doing fine she's doing better she still has a cold unfortunately she got the cold from Oliver so I was kind of scared because she 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 was less than two months when this happened so but she's fine we went to her too well um Two week, um, sorry, two months wellness check and everything was fine. But thank you for asking, Pam. So here is. So what do you think, huh? Which one is your favorite? I love this whole technique, and honestly, honestly, ladies, you do need to have that quilter's um, ruler. I think it made the difference. It made it super easy. Now, of course, I cannot find it, but anyway, somewhere here is the ruler. But it really made it uh, so easy to make this technique. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more of those. Because it was so easy to line it up and you could see exactly where um, where to draw. Because, oh, here we go. Because you can line up all the lines. See that? That was super easy. I line up that black mark and then um, do it. So I thought it was really great. So definitely get a quilter's uh, ruler for this technique because that made it super easy. I was kind of afraid because... I've seen lots of videos and they kind of look complicated, but it wasn't at all. So, um, hope you have enjoyed. Again, comment uh, to be entered on the drawing and I'll send you the kit. Uh, whoever wins, I'll send the kit with everything that is included here um, for you to complete the cards and also share it. So, it's for, for um, commenting and sharing. So, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So... So now you have another um, another use for that quilting ruler. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love. I'm going to be doing a lot more cards with this technique just because of that. So anyway, thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. And again, sorry, I couldn't, um, I couldn't do the drawing for last week. But next week, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I do the drawing. So next week, I'll announce both of the winners, this one and that one. Um, so I'll see you then next Thursday. Oh, thank you, Gina. Thank you, thank you. So, I'll see you next week. Have a good um, rest of the week, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>